The Ottawa Senators are extremely pleased to select from the Boston U Terriers, Brady Kachuk. Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon, and I'm your host. Before we get started, please follow us on Twitter at SenseTalk underscore. Follow up to updates of the games, and of course, breaking news. Now, before we get into tonight's video recap, I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, SeatGeek, for sponsoring today's video. SeatGeek is a ticket app that takes confusion out of buying tickets. They rate the tickets between 0 to 10, with 10 being good and 0 being bad. A great algorithm they use on the website or on the apps, on the app, download the app on the app store is you see green, orange, and red dots all over the venue map. Let's, I'm going to Florida tomorrow. So let's say you go to a Florida Panthers game and you see a red dot. You avoid that ticket. You see an orange dot. You probably should avoid that ticket too. But if you see a green dot in the 100 section, it's probably, you're, you're saving money here probably. Uh, it's to, to pro, most likely cheaper than uh, the ticket you could buy on the Fla Panthers website. And you're, it's just, it's easy. You go on the website or on the app. You see the green dot, 100 section, easy to buy tickets, one, two, three. And added bonus, use my promo code SENSTOCK to save $20, or P20, $20 off your first purchase. And you get to save some money. You get to help out the channel. Now let's get into tonight's recap between the Ottawa Sanders and Le Montreal Canadiens. So tonight's starters were Carey Price and Mike McKenna. But before we get into the game recap, we have a couple of line notes to speak about. Firstly, Yaros and Pyatt are in. Stefan Elliott, who had a game-winning uh, assist the other day, and Bergdorfer and McCormick were out for the game. Um, let's get into this game. So firstly, like I said previously, McKenna, great, great. 76 out of his last 81 shots he's faced have been turned away. So he's been absolutely spectacular. He's really, really showing why maybe he actually can be a backup for the rest of the season. To the first proof we go, though, four minutes in. Yikes, Peck on a screenshot, one nothing Canadians on his third of the year returning to the lineup. But less than 20, 20 seconds later, to be exact, Brady Kachuk's doing his thing. Tenacious piece of skating, skating, pokes it. Carey Price falls down, and Colin White pokes it in. It's a tie game at one apiece. Ninth of the year for Mr. Colin White, and Tenacious beat Brady Kachuk finally gets a point after like seven or eight games in a row without one. To the second period you go, Sanders gassed, not playing well, back to back. Half their defense is AHL caliber. But they get one. Miko Bodker is fourth of the year for Mark Stone on a one-time between-the-five-hole goal for Miko Bodker. The Sanders are up by one. Now it's 2-1 to one on, at 9-11 of the second period from Mark Stone. And just like that, the Sanders going to the third period with the lead without deserving it if it wasn't for Mike McKenna and acrobatic save after acrobatic save. But those will eventually catch up to him, and they did. Two minutes into the period, Kotniemi's shot goes off the post, off McKenna, trickles in. It's a tie game at two. Weber shoots from the point, goes in. It's three to two. Paul Byron, no chance. Four to five to the final empty netter for Joanna as 11th of the year. And uh, that third period was absolute horse crap. Um, you know, the, Michael McKenna, another... 40 plus save performance and um i don't care if you're on a back-to-back -back. nhl teams have to play back-to-backs i don't care if half your defense is injured that shouldn't okay that amount of shots if that's the reason fine how are you only getting 16 shots total five in the eight shots in the last two periods and six and eight you got amount of shots in the first period is the amount of shots you got in the second and third eight in the first eight in the second and third for final 16 that is pictured and awful how do you get eight shots in your final two periods so i don't care if your defense is bad i don't care if mike mckenna is making a million saves you're not going to win the damn game if you're shooting eight pucks at the net in two periods of play and you're chasing the puck and allowing 47 shots 47 shots if it wasn't for our goaltenders, we'd probably have like maybe one or two wins this year. This is ridiculous. I don't care if the defense is injured. I don't care if you're on a back-to-back. -back. I don't care if we're not expected to do well. Doesn't make an excuse against the Montreal Canadiens of all teams that only shoot 16 times on net. That is ridiculous. Uh, Face-offs, 27-36 halves. Power plays 0 for 2 for the Sens, 0 for 4 for the Canadiens. <sighs> Hits were 32-25. Third star of the game, Brendan Gallagher. Second star, Shea Weber with the goal. First star, Desperi Kentyemi with the goal and assist. <sighs> Mike McKenna tonight had a 9-13 save percentage. 42 saves on 47 shots. 46 shots against started, pardon me, that 47th was an empty netter. Um, once, this is a quick video because um, not much to talk about. 
Um, the Sens need their defense back. Uh, they need DeMello back. They need they need DeMello back because they need Harper to go where he should be. You know, I think, I think okay, let's talk about Harper. I think Harper's had a really good last week or two. Um, but when you're playing like Falk and Elliott and Bergdorfer, you know, and you have rookies like Juan Yaros in the lineup, you need, you need to have some assurance, at least on that top pair. And, you know, DeMello and Shabbat have that chemistry. I think, I think, um, Harper has been fine with, uh, Shabbat, really. I'm not going to lie. He had a couple of defensive, good defensive plays today. Um, but honestly, Shabbat and DeMello have that chemistry. We need DeMello back so he can even out the time, put less pressure on Shabbat so he can do his thing. Um... This is three losses in a row in the last 12 days for the Montreal Canadiens. We're seven points out of a playoff spot now. And they're all identical 5-2 losses. Um, let's check the standings real quick before we get to the Sense start of the game. Uh, I believe we are, yeah, we are, um, we are six points out of a playoff spot. <sighs> with uh, two games more, play, more two more games played than the, uh, the Bruins, who I, recur- I think are currently playing. So, um... I'll take a lot to get to the playoffs, but uh, at least stay in the 500 level so we don't give Colorado the first damn pick. Let's get to the Sens stock star of the night, voted by you, the fans. So the fourth star of the night and the third star of the night, tied with 4% of the vote, is Ryan Zingle and Ben Harper. I had Ben Harper for the first time because he had a really good game, in my opinion. I had a couple of nice defensive plays. Um, he's really grown on to me as somebody that actually could be better than we, what we thought he could be. He's had a really good last two, three weeks. Hopefully he can continue that as well with the Zingle. A couple of beautiful between the legs, between the defender and his own legs uh, moves. Couldn't finish it off, but he had a really solid game once again. So he is... They are both third and fourth, third star of the game. Second star of the game with 15% of the vote, Mark Stone. He got the assist. Mark Stone, you know, he wasn't very noticeable in that third period. I was wondering where him, Brady, Chuck, and Colin White were. Hopefully none of them were injured. I'm not saying they are. I'm just saying hopefully they're not. Um, but Mark Stone had a really good second period where uh, he got that goal. Great play where he definitely could have just went off, but kept on going with it and got that pass to Bodker to put the sentence up 2-1. to one. Um, Once again, pay that damn man because... We've got to keep him motto and make him the next captain. First star of the game, 81% of the vote, overwhelming majority, 42 saves on 46 shots on net, uh, 47 total, but 46 against him. Mike McKenna, another all-star caliber performance by him. He was absolutely terrific. Multiple huge saves, especially in that second period, keeping the team in it. Facing 46 shots is not easy, and um, especially in a building like the Bell Center, and he really came to the occasion, so he's the first star. Of the game for the sense for the sense stock start of the night and by far the only player that really showed up today in my opinion after maybe Dzingel and maybe Harper there's really no one else that really that really um, showed me anything but besides that the Sanders fall to the Canadians five to two they're 14 16 and four on the season I'm gonna double check that they might be 14 17 and four uh, they're 14 16 and four just to make sure I don't want to give you false information besides that next sends game is December 17th against the National Predators at 7 30 p.m. Eastern time I'll see you then when I'm in Florida while making that video so besides that, I think if you're watching I appreciate the support so please 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 follow on Twitter at Sensoc underscore for updates it's of the games and of course breaking news please like us on Facebook at Sensoc add us to the circles on Google Plus Sensoc click the big red button down there and subscribe to us like this video, share this video, share cool stuff. Please, please, please check our website, sensetalkcenter.com. We update that every single day. And of course, please check out our sponsor, SeatGeek.com, and download or on or download the app on the App Store and use our promo code SenseTalk to save twenty dollars off your first purchase. Besides that, five to the final, fourteen, sixteen, and four on the season. I'll see you Monday when the Senators take on the National Predators at seven thirty p.m. Eastern time. I'll see you then. Go, Sens, go.